Just knocked out an interview this morning, man. Feeling on top of the world. Launched my own coffee brand last night, and the response? Nothing but pure love and support from my crew, family, and the fans. All praises. 19 years ago, Indy's own Limon Brewster stunned the sporting world with a TKO of heavily favored Vladimir Klitschko, becoming heavyweight champion of the world. Brewster's latest venture, though, comes with the launch of the Champion Brew. So joining us this morning, former heavyweight champion of the world, Limon Brewster, and Champions Brew's Alicia Rogers. Then we headed out to grab some well-deserved breakfast at the Uptown Cafe. I was running so hard last night, didn't even have a minute to grab a bite. That's Jeff Johnson over there, man. He's the local expert I've teamed up with here in Indy, my old stomping ground. This is where I used to pound the pavement, getting ready for my fights. Doing what I'm doing, it's second nature to me. I'm from these parts, man. I know the struggle. This ain't just some coffee company, you know. You see, when you come from where I do, how the heck do you end up where I'm at? I reckon it's only right that I light the way for those who are coming up behind me. So let me break it down for you how I got here. Don't forget, it wasn't no walk in the park. The journey of a champion, it's all about stick to grinding, discipline, bouncing back. If you don't got those, I promise you, the path of a champ will force them into you. There's lots of great information about them and their cause, as well as their blends of coffee. And of course, we'll have that link for you up later on today on our website, fox59.com. Guys, thanks so much for coming in. Thank, really thank you for having us. That's a heavyweight yeah. fist bump thank right there. Yeah, heavyweight fist bump. <laughs> hey, we'll be right back. Stay with us. That's good coffee. It is good coffee. Thank that you. Good. That's great. I personally picked it. <laughs> Because of what I've accomplished, sure, folks want to interview me, get my autographs, snap photos with me. And what I want is to show everybody, look around, this is where I come from. And if I can scale the tallest mountain, you can too. And that, my friend, is what Champions Brew is about. It's about your journey, your story. You see this coffee, man? It's just a means to an end. We gotta talk, we gotta listen, we gotta mend. We've all faced some stuff, and now it's time we put it out there. Like, they fired like me like 20 years ago, 20, 21 years ago. <laughs> now I own the place. That's what this is really about. At the event, I connected with this guy, Steve. Steve ain't a boxer, but trust me, he's a fighter. He's got an incredible journey, and I'm super excited for him to join us as a champion of life. Steve, the man behind the Uptown Cafe, comes from humble roots, and his story, it's a tale of redemption. Okay now, gather round, folks. I want you to really picture this with me. Sat down with my man Steve, right here in his own restaurant. It's the same spot where he once got handed his marching orders. Can you believe that? Talk about getting a taste of defeat, and trust me, it ain't as smooth as our champions brew. But here's the thing, it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how many times you can get hit and keep standing, okay, yeah, keep pushing. Yeah, up, okay. I'm happy. I was just like disappointed because I was like, oh man, no way come. <laughs> they didn't come. Oh yeah, I know. That's what they told me. It was, I was at nine, right? Is that right? Okay. Yes, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. What's going on? I'm at the Uptown Cafe. I'm here with my boy Steve Eccles, the owner of the Uptown Cafe. And uh, we come to present the champions, bro. The choice of champions. With the champ. With the champ. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm passing him the belt. <laughs> <laughs> like they fired like me like 20 years ago, 20, 21 years ago. <laughs> now I own the place. Nice. And, That's and, and, the, man. and my other partner too. And her, they fired all of us. See, and, 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 and came back and bit them in the bit them in the in the tail. So uh, one guy came back. And he got he got a store in Noblesville. I was I was at the Hilton. I was a manager at the Hilton. Mm -hmm. You know, I was wearing suit and tie every day. I had my own office. I was nice. chilling. Nice. And and my friend called me up because I got him a job mm -hmm. after um, we got fired. Mm -hmm. I got a job at Bob Evans, so I got him a job. Oh, well, he went back, and they end up uh, trying needed to sell the store, so he bought it, got money from his grandparents, bought the store, and then. Um, he came back to me and was like, man, I'll never forget when you got me that job. I won't make you a partner. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that's what yep. people don't know that I got far. You talk about the audio books. It'd be perfect for the audio book because he got such a great story that yeah. young men need to hear about over overcoming 
trials and tribulations, yep. you know, persevering. I just graduated. I just went, I went back to school Agent. and got my business degree. When I had the opportunity to do this, I went back and got my GED. I went back and got my uh, business degree. And then I opened this place like five months later. Just feel so good to walk in there knowing you got fired from there and now you're on the place. Like, Wrapping up our day here at Steve's spot, and I've got to tell you, I'm feeling inspired. Seeing a man who's been knocked down, but more importantly, seeing how he rose up, stood tall. He ain't just running a successful restaurant now. He's a beacon of strength, a symbol of resilience. That's the kind of story we at Champions Brew love to stand behind. It's that spirit that makes a true champion.